I basically, or actually I am of the opinion that rape is pretty much a fictional thing. When a woman says that she was raped, she's pretty much lying. Uh, she's pretty much making it up. Now, I'm looking at some statistics from the Rape, Abuse, and Incest National Network. Uh, they're at rain.org slash statistics. That's R-A-I-N-N dot org slash statistics. Um, according to them, uh, one in six women will be sexually assaulted in her lifetime, and 60% of sexual assaults are not reported to the police. Now, there is a reason that 60% of these assaults are not reported. And that's simply because they didn't happen, or at least no crime happened. Uh, I believe that when a woman says she was raped, what really happened was that she asked for it, and she did something to invite it. And when she got it, changed her mind. See, most women like to use rape as a tool, as a weapon. So, it's really troubling when society automatically believes them and automatically wants to ostracize the guy, put him in jail or kill him or whatever it is, without even giving him a trial or evaluating the woman's story. As we saw with the Crystal Schinkel case, she tried to tell uh, everybody on the internet that she was raped when she told the police that it was consensual. Um, the prosecution didn't even believe her, and we shouldn't either. And that's the way it is with all women, really. I really do not believe there is such a thing as a, le a legitimate rape case. Um, that's the reason why 60% of assaults don't happen. If a woman really was assaulted and there really was a rape that she really was a victim of, she would be running to the police station. She would be wanting justice and revenge. But instead, she knows that she asked for it. She knows that she invited it. And buyer's remorse or regretting it or whatever, that's not an excuse to cry rape. And unfortunately, that's what most women do. Um, so it, I stand firm in my belief that there's no such thing as an actual rape case. Uh, any woman who says she was raped is a liar. These women that are saying, oh, I'm a survivor. I'm a rape survivor. You're a rape liar is what you are. Again, no such thing as rape. Don't fall for the story that she was raped. You know, that's just pure bull.
Um, so that's where I stand on the issue, and I do welcome your comments. You can come to my blog at michaelcook.net. You'll find some forums there. Go ahead and register for an account. It's free. Uh, sound off. I do respect freedom of speech and uh, differing opinions. So come by and you know, say your piece. Um, but I do leave you with this thought that uh, any woman who says she was raped is a liar. If you ever, if a woman ever tells you she was raped, just dismiss her. She's a liar. Just don't even bother with her. Um, so thank you for your time. MichaelKirk.org, MichaelKirk.net, and I will talk to you later.